all morning long to talk to a very special guy. He is a Grammy-nominated celebrity photographer who has been on the front lines of the protests. Matthew Baton joins us live this morning. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Good to Good see morning. you. Good morning. Good to so, see you guys. So, Matthew, I know you travel with Dave Chappelle, Lenny Kravitz, all of these major celebrities. You filmed everybody. So what made you want to go out and shoot the protests? Well, I mean, this is real life, right? All this other stuff I do is, is uh, you know, I'm lucky to do it. It's amazing. I work with people I admire. Uh, but this is, you know, this is an uprising and this is what it's all about. So I feel, you know, privileged to uh, be able to be here. You know, I wish I could be in New York. I wish I could be in Paris covering all of these protests. But this is where my heart is, you know, documenting real life and and I think that's what I try to do anyway with celebrities and other people I work with and other shoots that I, I think my thing is always to show the reality in it. And uh, so that's what I'm trying to do here. And Matthew, uh, these pictures are so powerful. Actually, I reposted one of your pics on my uh, IG page, and uh, it has a little boy sitting on uh, the shoulders of his mom or big sister uh, there, and it has a poster that says, yeah. Am I Next? It is so powerful. What are some of the messages that you're hearing from the people who are out here on the front lines? Well, first of all, that image, you know, is so powerful because again that's a little boy named cash and that's his uh his mother's partner uh felicia on the photo and uh, the the amazing thing about it is you know we're out there we're seeing these are such real situations right like that kid you know some people have been criticizing me for it and say you know you shouldn't post stuff like that this poor little kid that you're you're teaching him fear and hey but this is reality and of course all the people that are telling me that are white people and so the messages I'm getting is this is time for the uprising. This is time for us. You know, we've had our time in America. I mean, I'm a French guy, you know, um, white, white guy, obviously, but, you know, grew up in Paris. It's a different, slightly different history. But what I'm feeling is just everybody's had enough. And I frankly have had enough myself, but I don't have the same experience. So I can't, you know, I can't say what it's like to be an African-American, but I've seen the struggle, I've, you know, I, I've documented it and my whole career has been dedicated to black arts. It's just what I've been passionate about my whole life. So, you know, the, to, to find a common ground between creating art in a situation like this and that hopefully these images are used to raise awareness and, and raise funds, you know, I want to do some, uh, some uh, maybe an exhibition with a nonprofit, you know, there'll, there'll be lots of things, but uh, I don't know if I'm answering your question. There's just such a no, sense no, you, of subject, you, you did. Uh, and, and before we get to, because I know Suzanne is going to talk about uh, some of the celebrities that you have helped, but uh, you mentioned some of your white friends and how you're getting some backlash uh, from that side. Can you really stress the importance that this is a problem that belongs to everybody, regardless of your race, uh, your sex, your gender, your religion? Why is it important for everyone to get out and, 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 and have something to say, not even if you're, you're protesting, but to take part in this conversation and this narrative. Because at the, at the core, we're all humans, right? And we, we have a, a, a civic duty, we have a human duty to all support one another. And so I think it's so important for everyone to join the cause because again, like I said before, we we've been the lucky ones, you know, we've just been riding along, enjoying the hip hop and watching the movies. And, you know, like I, I watched Do the Right Thing again. I mean, God, is that, it's what, 31 years old? Can you believe like how, I mean, it's not even foreshadowing because it was going on already at that time, it's still going on. But I, I feel like we all have to join this fight because we're brothers, we're all brothers and sisters, you know? And uh, it, I'm, I'm even emotional talking about it because we, we just, we, we just have this duty, you know, we have this duty and we're, we're fighting a system that was created for white people, you know, so it's really hard. It's like, you know, I have this orchid plant. I've been trying, it, it died. I've been trying to bring it back to life. And I think like, that's what it's like right now. It's like mm. trying to bring a dead system mm. back to life and creating a new system out of it. Well, Matthew, you work with some of the most prominent black figures in the world. Can you talk about some of your work? You have a Grammy nomination. You're clearly an influ influential person who is aware of the issues in America, but also working with some of the people other folks look up to. Yeah, I mean, you know, the I mean, you talk about Dave Chappelle, you know, that's that's been an amazing uh, it's been amazing collaborating with him because he's also such such a, a, a revolutionary and, and such a unique 
character, you know, you watch his Netflix specials and they're the most honest things you're going to find, you know, even behind every joke he's making is such deep truth, you know, and, and uh, he fights the system through his comedy. So that's some, I'm very proud of, of the work I've done with him, you know, I'm, and I was on, on the road working with Lenny Kravitz for 10 years, you know, and, and uh, you know, we talk often, but another guy who's, you know, been all about love, you know, the whole message has been let love rule. And so, I mean, I, I try to surround myself with people that are not just out there to be famous and not out there to just make some money. I'm, I'm with people who are trying to make a change through their art. And, you know, in essence, that's what I'm feeling right now by, by uh, documenting these things. I mean, I, uh, you know, I was out there on the front lines uh, the other day and got shot with a rubber bullet by a police officer for taking photos. Like I was, you know, peaceful protester. And, you know, I was chanting along with, with other people with Black Lives Matter, but like, did, do people deserve to be shot with tear gas and, and rubber bullets? You know, the, I don't think so. So I think, you know, the, the work and all that stuff is great, but like, this is the issue at hand. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep surrounding myself with the artists who are there to make change. All right, we love your work. Thank you so much for being with us. It's such an honor to have you yes. on. And you're welcome back Thank anytime. You. Thank, right. you, Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Wu Tang. <laughs>